Olden Aki here with another Halo 5 Guardians Mythic S. Lazo mission solo legendary all skulls on no deaths and this one is unconfirmed and here we are setting it up you can see I'm on legendary with all 13 skulls activated and as we start here it's taking a little bit of time to load Okay, very short cutscene as we start the mission. Alright, as soon as we get off, let's go into sprint, and we're going to run through most of this first ground area. Or actually, all of it. Right past that guy, a little thrust. Using no sprint and thing. thrust to get past all these guys. Head along this fence line. Come up here, and what we're going to do is jump and scramble up to the top, or clamber. And as soon as you get up to the top, stop quickly, then turn and jump up over the railing, because if you, if you try to do it in one continuous motion, as I found, a lot of times they'll just fall off to your death. All right, I'm going to bring the team up here. Now we're going to have about four different waves. The first wave is already there, which is several, several crawlers and a knight. And the crawlers are actually the ones that drive me nuts because they come out of nowhere and put fire on me and with black eye on I cannot regenerate the shields unless I melee somebody. And we're going to see that um, right when we finish up this particular area. Alright, the knight will spawn a watcher. We want to take the watcher out first as much as possible. Oh, there's another crawler up there. Now they they tend to they tend to come out from that area. Uh, they they'll come straight up the uh, the steps at you, or sometimes over on the left they get an angle where they can shoot from a distance. And any time they put fire on you, you're losing part of your shields. All right, that, that was a crawler I believe that I had marked. Yeah. Uh, when well, my fire team helped me get the crawlers out of the way. There he goes. I haven't seen the watcher yet. Not for a grenade or so, and uh, get him out in the open. As soon as I put fire on the knight, the crawl, I mean, the uh, watcher will come out to protect him. I want to look at that crawler. Oh, uh, well, I moved up far enough that the next wave is coming in, which is going to be two knights, I believe. And a watcher. Don't almost spawn a watcher. So we want to take out. Ooh. That's a little new. I, just, I haven't seen the knight come up that close before that early in the mission. Anyway, you notice I come down here. Those little uh, brown chests are ammo uh, chests, and they are infinite. Uh, you can go down there and reload as, with ammo as much as you want, and that's true throughout the mission. Those are Spartan ammo chests. It's, that area down there, for the most part, ooh, there's another crawler, is a, uh, is a good place to hide or run away from the nasties. With an, if you're in doubt, run down here and then regroup. Again, because of Black Eye, we're not going to get our shields back. So, uh, a few timely hits by any one of these enemies will take us out. Oh, darn it. Oh, and the crawler. Okay, I got the crawler. But a few uh, timely hits from any one of these guys, and we are dead. And with Iron actually working this time, the Iron Skull, that will kill the mission. We can't save, quit, and resume anymore. Okay, oh, dog, got it. These little buggers. Okay, good, got him. Alright, let's see what we got left here. Alright, we got a knight sitting right out in the middle. And these are really armored. Uh, 
those little power cores are what we have to take out to drop his armor. Eliminate that knight. Now we've got uh, the next wave actually popped in, and now those are soldiers. And we have to be really careful of those guys because uh, they will fire from distance, and I believe they have light rifles. And uh, they are very good at headshots. Take that soldier down. Well, one's got a light, and uh, one may even have a uh, binary. I'm not really sure. Whoa, look out. That looks like a binary rifle, doesn't it? Two streams of light coming at me. But if your reflexes are good enough, from this position, as soon as you see them firing, you can duck back down to cover and use the stairs as cover here because they're firing center mass at your chest. And, whew, man, I was close. So a lot of times, if, you, if you're if uh, you just poking your head over the top like that, although these guys seem to have a bead on my head, uh, they will fire into the structure and not into you. This particular uh, area here has taken longer than I have done it in the past. The reason I'm showing this one is because it's a successful run. Ooh, look out. Don't like that. So essentially I'm using the stairs here as cover. When I have my fire team back resurrected or respawned, I don't resurrect them. Ooh, I don't know if that was a little bit of a lag or not. I noticed when I was actually running the mission that my capture screen was lagging a little bit. So far, so good. Hopefully that won't show up in the actual video. Okay, I finally got them to target that guy. Now with Iron On, the, our, my uh, fire team cannot revive me. Theoretically, I guess I can revive them, but I don't want to run out on, uh, outside of cover to do so. And I'm not sure about the rules of the game for Mythic S. Lazo, whether or not we can actually do that. Oh, look out. Uh-oh, I've lost my shields. You can actually hear a little sound when your shields pop. So now i got to be extra careful. Can't take too many more uh, hits. And to get my shields back at some point, I'm going to have to melee somebody. Now the next area, we're going to be dealing primarily with snipers. And, uh, well, I am. And the uh, fire team will be dealing with the crawlers that are running around. That might be an area where you could get your shields back, but you, you have to be a little bit lucky to position the fire team in such a way that the crawlers are focused on them and you can sneak up behind the crawler and take him out. Luckily, I didn't have to do that because, as we'll see here in a couple of minutes, or several minutes, I was able to do that to one of, the, one of these guys, actually to a knight captain. I wasn't so concerned about losing shields uh, in the next area, but in the final sprint to the end, uh, I was. So I was going out of my way to uh, get my shields back, and I figured, okay, well, if I fail, I fail, and I die, and we'll start the thing over and try again. A lot of rinse and repeating here. I, I uh, try to take out those uh, power cores on the knights and or take down a uh, soldier. Oh, crazy. They're all in hiding now. Crap. Oh, okay, here comes the knight out of hiding. Anyway, to take out the power cores, and these guys are real bullet sponges, even on the power cores. Let my uh, team, for the most part, focus on soldiers. 
Okay, there's a power cord popped. Now when you take them both out, if he's visible there, right when the uh, right when you take out both power cores, he gets mad and drops the shielding on his face. And if you're quick enough, you can take him out with one headshot. Being the old and slow guy I am, I couldn't do that. So if you can't do that, just keep piling on on his uh, on his face mask there uh, with shots and. Ultimately, uh, the face mask will go, and then you can take him out with a headshot. And now we got the last wave up, and that's going to be two watchers spawning up close to me, plus two night captains, plus some more soldiers. And I'm not sure whether or not we're going to get another uh, another knight. I'll take a look here. I don't think so. But we really want to get rid of those watchers first. Especially in, in, in the position that I'm in right now where my shield is crap. It doesn't help at that night. Yes, we do we do get a spawn night there in the last wave. So I believe I've got I took one of the knights down. I've got a partially disabled knight and a fully shielded knight out there now along with two watchers and some soldiers and two uh, two uh, captains, two uh, soldier captains. And soldier captains have those portable uh, turret things that you gotta be really be careful about. I have never seen the, uh, the knights so interested in charging this, the end of the platform. But again, notice how I just immediately retreat. I'm not gonna stand there and fight them. I'm just gonna get out of the way and come back and reset while I'm at it get some more ammo. Oh, I don't know how in the world I did that. That must have been a lucky shot. There might have been just Push a up. kink in the armor get somewhere that I was able to put a shot in. Take that position. And actually the BR uh, throws out three, uh, three bullets in a uh, close cluster there. The further out, the further out you have to fire or the longer the uh, the distance, the uh, bigger the cluster. Move up. Gotcha. All right, we, we took out that one knight. Now I'm trying to get my guys out there so I can get you know get the knights out of cover. I mean the soldiers out of cover. Not really sure of this. Okay. Okay, this is the last soldier captain, and I'm going to try to take him out with a melee. And hopefully I'll get there before my guys take him out. Now he's retreating back towards the uh, back towards the ship there, and I'm looking to see where he's at. I'm hoping that he's going to charge my guys because he's tell you know he, he sort of jumps all over the place with his teleportation capability. So I'm very, very careful. I want him focused on my fire team, not me. Not sure where he's at. I'm, all, I'm pretty glad that my fire team are, are crappy shots, or he'd be dead already. Okay, here we go. Let's see if we can do it. Assassination! Yes. He's dead. He's dead. And I got my shields back. All right. I feel so much better now. Okay. Now I'm going to go back here and tell one of my guys to pick up this Hydra. And in the next area. Ship's log might tell us something. Uh, when the Let's snipers, uh, when I have to deal with the snipers, with one of them firing a hydra at the take snipers, the it helps get them up high so that I can see them and take them out. That's the reason I want them to have the hydra. All right, here we go. Found an access point. Sniper rifle. I'm not worried about losing my BR because I'll be picking up a DMR here momentarily. Notice that I'm not sparkling anymore because I have full shields. Lock is a happy camper. Okay. Let's go out here and grab this DMR. And this is a very good weapon at distance. It's a good backup for a sniper. Governor Slow. Alright, on to the next area. And this is where we'll find the snipers. And this particular area, I'm trying to always keep my fire team out of the way. Sometimes uh, they just get in the way right when, I went when you want to make a, a shot on somebody. So you'll notice that I'll be, I'll be continually moving them to the right. 
Okay, first off, I, I'm setting him to go to the right. And there is a sniper up here. He is always here. And he's just standing there stationary. Boom, he's gone. Now we're going to have to run up outside of this area to get the others to spawn. Again, I'm resetting my team over there to the right. On my mark. Got it. And sometimes you have to do it more than once because they're kind of silly. They're not really all that smart. There's another sniper down there. There's a total of five, plus all the crawlers. So I got two down, three to go. Oh, crap. I wasted a sniper bullet there. He moved. All right, got him back up top. All right, there's another one. That's three. And notice how they just run right in the way. So I'm going to step back, reset them. God darn it. I told you to get over there, knucklehead. All right, set them, reset them. Start looking for a sniper up top. Okay, I see him right there. I'm waiting for him to jump up top. Notice that that hydra is firing at him with one of my guys, and that makes him jump up top. So that's why I wanted them to have that hydra. Okay, that's four down, one to go. And there he is, up top. And that was the, uh, I believe that was my DMR because those other sniper bullets. The DMR took him out. Double check and make sure I didn't get hit. All right, I think we're down to just the crawlers now, and just one take or two. And I'm not going to be doing anything silly here to take fire from the crawlers because I want to keep my shields for the final uh, two areas. The Brometheans have this entrance bottled up. Okay, good. That's a good sign. All right, there he goes. Now we're not quite done here. All right, and what I'm looking for here is another sniper rifle. There it is. Sometimes if that sniper who had it is still alive, you're going to have to swap weapons with him to get the sniper. I actually happened to me once. Usually it's lying around that area where I just did the uh, pickup. Somewhere in that area. But every once in a while the sniper survives. Our sniper. And so it, it takes, you, got it. you know, it takes swapping weapons. Which is not hard to do. You just got to find it. The dang one guy and get his weapon. Okay, there's one. There's two more snipers we got to take out. There's one of them. Once we take them out, everybody else despawns. You can hear them despawn. And again, I got to get my guys out of the way here. I'm waiting for that sniper to jump up top. There he goes. Ah, crap. Missed him. Try again. I can see that he's getting a beat on me. Okay. I'm not sure whether that was a sniper or my DMR, either one. Probably the sniper because I, I was able to see him better. This scoping, zooming on the DMR is not all that great. Okay, we're done here. Notice I'm not bothering to pick up any weapons or anything. My money's on the Prometheans never engaging them. That I, for the rest of the mission, I will not be firing a shot. We're going to be doing some skipping and sprinting. And a really cool trick at the end. Okay, here we go. As soon as the door is open, let's sprint. Take this direction here. Little jump. Jump and thrust. Run along the pipes. Jump and thrust. Right here. Quick stop. Reset your team there. And just keep going. Sprint and thrust to here, jump up, jump and clamor. All right. Move up. All right, move up a little bit. And what I want to do here is I, I reset my fire team up in this area. And notice that I, I uh, targeted that guy there, and that just kind of freeze, freezes him a little bit, so he, he doesn't focus on me. And now I'm running for my life because another guy, another night captain spawned as I clambered up there. And that's it, we're out of this room. So, remember that I, I reset my team when I, I jumped off the pipes. After I jumped off the pipes, and then when I clambered up, I reset the team again. 
and that helps to take the night captain's focus Move off forward, of me. But keep an eye on and it. if they're still hanging around that area, then I target Stop one of them, us. and it, that I'm really actually here. tends to freeze them a little bit. Governor, uh, that surprised me because a lot of runs, if I just ran straight along the pipe, I'm uh, straight along the uh, the railing there, I usually got drilled. Okay, now we're coming into the end. And I'm Just going to be using a no-shot trick, first done by Legendary Smile and his Mythic so Run. This is here? really a slick Reckon little thing a possibility. to do. Possibility, but not a certainty. If Sloan's hiding something, we'll draw it out of him after we investigate this structure. Okay, here we go. Now one thing that happened here as I go in, and I'm not really sure why it happened, but I'll explain it after we're done there, because this all happens pretty quick. Okay, we're going to go ahead and skip. And as soon as we get here, this turn around and Where'd set that uh, something new. Defend yourselves. Set my team behind that uh, little pillar there. And then move along the railing just so the bad guy, the, the warden, can see you. Reset them again. And notice that they're not around. That just surprised the heck out of me. All right, he comes down, and since he comes down, I sidestep him. Uh, you can thrust or just do a step, and he will swing his sword and fall off the platform. All the rest of the guys despawn. Now, what I was going to say here is that for some reason, my team disappeared. They just totally disappeared. Usually, they come in behind me, and, and I reset behind that pillar so the crawlers will go to them. And then I just kind of put my head up right in this area here so that the warden comes at me so I can do that little sidestep thing. But for some reason, the team wasn't there to support me that time. And I, I actually, I think I got pretty lucky there. Okay, that's it. And we got to go through about a four minute or so. Yeah, about four minute or so cutscene here. Uh, so other than... Cortana was calling them to her. I want to give credit to here. Legendary Smile and Michael W. Smith for the routing of this mission. In other words, the uh, the uh, the initial sprint, uh, the approach in the first firefight, and uh, and that last sprint there at the end, where I uh, bypass that last room to get to the warden, and of course Legendary Smile's uh, warden sidestep move. Which is a, he was the first one to do it. So kudos to those guys. That really helped me out a lot. Even though it does take some uh, practice to be able to go through this uh, with all the skulls on and survive. So that's it. That is unconfirmed mythic S Lazo. We got to go through this cutscene, and then when we're all done with that. You will see a flash of light, and then uh, the start of evacuation. At that point, I know I've completed the mission, and I'll go ahead and uh, bail out of the uh, Stay bail where you out are. of the game. But for the last couple of minutes here, just sit back and enjoy. One one seven, stand down. Sir, you are absent without leave. This is your one chance to come home peacefully. Blue team, stand down. I have a job to do. Cortana's our concern now, sir. Like hell she is. <laughs>
Damn it. Look, a jump puzzle. Okay, as we come to the end here, we're almost done. Uh, I do hope this helps you in your quest uh, to complete unconfirmed or mythic Eslazo. Uh, also, you can use the strategy and uh, techniques and routing uh, on a regular legendary run as well. Obviously, you can be a little bit more aggressive on a regular legendary run. But anyway, that's it. The mission is now complete. We're in evacuation. This is Old Aniki signing off. Take care, everybody.